Hello, my name is Irene Abra and I'm one of the COP26 campaign workers and I'm working for the Methodist Church in Italy. Italy is a country in Southern Europe surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea. So by having this position, it is affected in different ways by climate change. For example, heat waves, water shortage and also drought, especially in the South, by also having an impact on agriculture and also increasing of flooding. So this shows clearly how it is important to take actions and how it is important to take care of our planet. So before I end this video, I would like to say a quote taken from Nelson Mandela. We can change the world and make it a better place. It is in your hands to make a difference. Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Wadi. I'm one of the COP26 campaign workers and I come from Zambia. So Zambia is one of the countries that has actually felt the effects of the climate crisis and uh, Zambia we use hydro for our power, for electricity and uh, because of climate change we have been experiencing drastic changes in uh, rainfall patterns so we have been experiencing massive load shedding countrywide so a lot of people have not been having access to power have not been having access to electricity uh, because uh, climate change so I hope that you're going to do your part to try and uh, save this earth and champion climate justice much love Hello for everyone, my name is Yemai Mavai and I'm representing the country of Fiji for the UK COP26 campaign workers. Um, for us here in the Pacific, global warming has caused a major impact for our small island states. Um, with sea level rise worsening our coastal communities security, um, the warming of temperatures has not been helpful either because it has caused problems such as ocean acidification, coral bleaching, um, the intensification of natural disasters such as hurricanes, cyclones, uh, flooding and so forth, all which impact our community's livelihood security as well as our mere existence. For us here in the Pacific, climate change is not just another issue, it's a matter of life and death for us here and we live uh, every single day of our lives seeing and adapting to these changes of the weather and climate. Um, it's basically our reality and we feel as though because we live in this reality that it is also our duty and responsibility to advocate um, for climate justice uh, before it's too late uh, to keep our cultures uh, sustained as well as our land to be maintained as well. My encouragement to the younger community is that you're never too young to become an activist uh, for climate justice. As long as you have that passion and that sense of consciousness, then action will always follow through. No matter how small it is, it's the contribution that counts into making our uh, planet a more greener and sustainable uh, community where we can live harmoniously with the environment. Hi everyone, my name is Camila Ferreiro. I'm from Uruguay and I'm one of the COP26 campaign workers. I'm working for the Methodist Church in Uruguay. Uruguay is a country in the southeastern region of South America, bordering the Atlantic Ocean between Argentina, Russia and Paraguay. It is the only South American country located entirely in the temperate zone, which means that it is characterized by having a warm climate in summer, cold in winter, and moderate in spring and summer. However, the climate crisis is also affecting our region. In the last few decades, we have faced more and more extreme weather patterns, such as droughts, floods, frosts, and heat waves. People's jobs and way of living, way of living are being affected especially the ones that live in the rural areas. Although Uruguay may not be in the front lines of this crisis, there are countries and communities around the world that are extremely affected. That's why it is fundamental that we fight this crisis all together. 
We hope that our campaign can inspire you to take action and to raise awareness about climate justice. I'm Molly. And I'm James. And we're the two COP26 campaign workers for the Methodist Church in Britain. Britain is not as vulnerable to climate change as other parts of the world, but many people and animals are at risk from threats such as flooding and fires, and weather patterns are becoming increasingly unpredictable. In November 2021, world leaders, climate scientists and activists will be coming here to the UK to the UN Climate Change Conference. Meeting in Glasgow, these people will be discussing and debating the future of our beloved planet. We believe that the COP26 Climate Conference has the potential to make a huge difference in the battle against climate change, and we hope that our campaign will inspire churches to make a huge difference too.